Well, in today's video, we're going to try starting the Integra here, so come along. Yeah, so I was talking with Derek. I technically have a spare Elite 2500 right now. It's, it's for my WRX, but that's not going to be running anytime soon. So instead of borrowing ECUs between the Evo and the Integra, might as well put it in here. That way both cars technically can run. So we're doing a little bit of putzing around, charging the battery. Um, yeah, he's got to change the base map, unfortunately, because the base map was for a 1500. So we'll do all that and hopefully see if we can get this thing started up today. Fingers crossed. Still have to put the wideband in it. It's gonna be a temporary setup, but if it works, it'll help us at least tune. So, all right, well, I'll let you guys know. So he's gonna try starting it, right, Derek? A little, little bit there. Uh, and I got a fuel leak. Pop through the intake. Well, as you guys saw, it started, but my regulator's leaking a little bit, so I gotta either change that or get a gasket or something, but it's really all we can do today because with the fuel leak that we can't solve today, there's no point, we can't drive it. We got other stuff going on. So I think that's probably what I'll do is maybe this next week, get the battery mount, a good battery and get the regulator fixed and put the wide band in. Yeah. 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 Take it to take it your shop, get there. <laughs> got the eight six on the shop, Derek. Yeah, that's all we're gonna do for today. So good progress though. Yeah. All right, I'm back working on the car. The fuel leak, the ORB fittings, they have little O-rings, they had cracked. So I got all those replaced. I got a new return hose here because the other one was really dry and everything too. So we'll get that fixed. That should take care of our fuel leak. We gotta do the battery yet too today. Um, we'll, when we get to the battery, we'll get to the battery. Let's get this fuel leak fixed here real quick. And then once we get the battery in, we'll test it. Yeah, so the other day I got the old battery out and got the the Melly mount, I'll figure out how I want to mount it. I'm gonna film a YouTube short on this real quick, so you can just check that out. But I'm gonna get this mounted and then we can check for leaks here real quick. Yeah, so there's the battery all mounted up and everything. So let's see if we got any fuel leaks here. My key. Oh, let's see. Looks good. Yeah, so we got no fuel leaks. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna check to see for power and ground for a wideband. I'm not gonna hook the wideband up today because I don't have a connector for it. Cause I just wanna put like a DT connector because the wideband that's going in, this is a temporary wideband. So let's get the test light out and see if we can figure out if we got power and ground there. Yeah, so I was working on getting the wideband installed and Jeff 13 years ago kind of screwed over Jeff right now. When I put the O2 bung in the exhaust, I didn't drill it out far enough. The old O2 fit just fine, but the new wide bands have a bigger diameter. So now I'm gonna have to jack up the car, get underneath there with like a, a die grinder and carefully oval it out and hopefully not screw up any of the threads. I do have some taps, so if, if it does get a little wild, at least I have a backup plan, but car's here, so I'm gonna have to crawl under here and do it. There's gonna be no room to film, but uh, wish me luck. So I'm gonna get going on that. Yeah, it actually went pretty good. I was able to put the carbide on my, my snap-on die grinder or whatever, and put it into the hole, put it on low speed, and I'd turn it on, I'd just kind of pull it back to kind of get where I needed to. Didn't have to tap any of the threads or anything. So the car's ready to um, 
get tuned. We got a bunch of rain right now. I'm thinking Sunday. Hopefully I can uh, maybe put some miles on this. Be kind of cool. Well, um, that's all I'm gonna do right now. So hopefully see you guys in a couple days. So I think the plan is to, oh, that was right. The plan is to uh, take the car driving today, but it's covered in dust and dirt. So me and my daughter, we're gonna wash it here real quick and then hopefully get some street tuning done. she is i got nothing really to dry it right now but little water spots never hurt nobody yeah yeah like derek said detailers like a challenge there so uh we're gonna try getting this thing started up and maybe take it for a drive here in a minute what's your first plan of action oh just check over where i'm at uh we'll set the throttle position and then start up and get some get running right just driving around yep God damn it, Jeff, trying to kill us. First drive almost was a disaster. I remembered I had these wheels ceramic coated a year or two ago. Didn't remember if I tightened them down all the way. Turns out I didn't. So we turned around real quick and we had a little bit of overheating problems, but also low on coolant from doing the intake swap. But everything else is going pretty good so far. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah? Yeah, it runs. As yeah. Derek said, it'd be a lot easier on a dyno. We need a dyno. Yeah, yeah, we need a dyno. Well, just driving. Um, we definitely got some work to do. It's, well, say loading up pretty good and like the really, really, really light load engines or it's, engine it's loads. Lean. No, it's lean. That's not loading up. Oh, it's lean that's doing it? Yep. Okay. But yeah, um, ITB lean when, when you open up the throttles a little bit and- Well, it makes sense because that snap. Well, there's like way more air than the engine's going to use then. So- Yeah, that makes it sense. It needs more fuel down there. But we have, um, it runs and drives. First time I've driven it since oh, probably 2019, maybe, probably. 
but that's all we're probably going to do for this year. I mean, it's the end of October. We can continue to do the rest of it next year. Got any comments or anything, Derek? Uh, no. Well, I'm going to do one, and then we'll take it for a quick ride again. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I guess we're going to do another one. We'll see how it goes. Well, I got a little bit of a problem. It doesn't want to stay running, and it's running really rich. Injectors all plugged in, they look like it. Yeah, so we might have to get a tow back. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're gonna see if we can do some roadside diagnostics here real quick. Yeah, not sure what happened. We ended up getting it started and drove it back, but that's a little concerning. <laughs> at least though like i said yeah so that's pretty much all we're gonna do on it this i'm gonna say you're, you're gonna be in the video now you're gonna be in the video now <laughs> so yeah we're done working on it for the year um what we really have to do is we have to balance the butterflies and probably get it on a dyno just so we can load it easier and stuff but that's all that's gonna happen with this car for right now again this is the first time i've driven it since i think 2019 and i feel better now because i can actually justify having this car <laughs> if that makes any sense but if you guys like this kind of video make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time